A record number of endangered ocelots have now been identified in Laguna Atascosa National Wildlife Refuge with a current count of 22 of the rare cats. For the past several decades, researchers have been tracking ocelots at the main refuge east of Rio Hondo. Many have been live trapped and radio collared to monitor their movements, while others have been documented on trail cameras. For many years, refuge staff conducted surveys, but in the past several years, monitoring has been performed primarily by biologists with the Caesar Clayburgh Wildlife Research Institute. And research associate Elizabeth Grunewald has been vital in establishing the record number. For a lot of years, the numbers thrown about were like 15 to 18, but usually 15 or 16. And like I said, in less than two years, we've identified um, at least 22 on camera. So we know that there have to be some more out there. Hunter Boskus from Harlingen, an undergraduate at Texas A&M Kingsville, has been instrumental in establishing the record number by utilizing camera traps at 14 water guzzlers on the refuge frequented by ocelots. Their spot patterns are almost like fingerprints. They're very unique to one another, so it makes it uh, pretty easy for me at least to identify and tell each of them apart. Having established an historic high number of ocelots at Laguna Atascosa is great news for refuge manager Brandon Jones. As working with the stellar staff at Caesar Clayburg Wildlife Research Institute has enhanced refuge management overall. I mean, from a from from Laguna's perspective, from the operation standpoint, it's made it's made us way more efficient in the way we're able to focus. It allows us to focus on other a aspects of, of refuge management as well, and right. and uh, and that's been vital in, in just keeping the refuge up and running. With 22 or more ocelots roaming the refuge, visitors have an increased chance to glimpse one of the rare cats, whose numbers are estimated to be less than 120 in all of South Texas. You never know when you might see one. With your Outdoor Report, I'm Richard Moore.